Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending May the 13th, 2022. Rallies into the close today. Great day, gapped open uh, at the start. Both uh, all the major indexes, the uh, SP 500, the NASDAQ all gapped up and then uh, ha had good strong rallies all day long. Was waiting until later in the day to do this uh, to see if volume ever uh, came in and reported. On the mid and the small caps, it seems like we had uh, volume catching up and we won't know until they close, but it, it seemed like the volume was supporting these moves. I uh, don't, don't yet have uh, volume readings uh, to show uh, on, on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. They look like that uh, they were about uh, average or at least approaching average, which is good news. Uh, we will see because um, uh, here's the thing is we're in a strong downtrend. I'll, I'll get to trends here in just a second, but here's, here's the tail of the tape. Okay, right now, right now only even despite the rally. So it's, it's, a, great, it's a great optimistic thing uh, to have. The week is still down. Uh, but um, uh, what we have got closing out here is uh, trying to get a little bit of uh, something salvaged out, out of the week. But right now, not just at 10% of the NASDAQ, only, only about 10% of the NASDAQ are above their 200 days and 30%, just shy of 30%. Uh, of the uh, S&P 500 or above their 200 days. And it doesn't, it doesn't look any better on the, uh, on the 50 day. You only have 17% of the S&P 500 above the 50 day and, and less than 8% of the NASDAQ above their 50 days. So, you know, there's a long ways, a uh, long ways, a lot of recovery uh, yet to go. I mean, we look at, at the, um, uh, retracement here and we're still even on the S&P 500 uh, only only back about three quarters of the retracement level and then uh, the same could be uh, said about uh, the, the NASDAQ I really didn't draw any, uh, any fib lines all the way down on them yet because it's been such a steep down move but anyway nice big candles here uh, I, it looks like it looks like volume is going to be uh, average at least or above average uh, on the majors there going back up. Had a little bit of move in the 10-year. So you had some people selling off of the 10-year, going back into equities. That was a positive look. Even if we could just do a, an extended sideways uh, period here for a while, that would be a, a great relief from the uh, from the, just the uh, drudging that the markets have been taking. But look, right now, um, uh, bulls uh, and, and are 24 and a bear. So the bear, bulls, the bears about about one to two, or uh, bears are outnumbered. The, the bulls about two to one still. Uh, like I, I started off with about the the volatility, never made the 40 that a lot of people would have liked to have seen in order to, to make a, a call on the bottom. But uh, you know, so we're down below 30 again. So I, I don't know. Here we are. Here we go again uh, today. We'll see uh, how far this can go. Uh, as we uh, are right now, 10 year, uh, right about uh, uh, the last two hours of the close, right 2.91. And the 30 year is still over three at 3.06, uh, roughly. And um, the one month sectors, best sectors, the only positive sector uh, right now in the one month is energy. Uh, it's up for about 1.14%. Staples, utilities, followed by industrials, materials. All negative, but those are the best. Those are the best ones. And uh, so look, 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 guys. Second place is Staples with minus 2.84 percent for the one month. So there you go. Hey, uh, uh, let's get into something that's kind of interesting that you can't get anywhere else, and that's uh, that's our structured note place. So the, for those of you that are in these structured notes, the regional banking, the KRE, uh, and that valuation's off 17.4 percent. Good news is. You still have another another uh, uh, almost thirteen point six percent of barrier protection there, and we got some rallies uh, here here today. And and, uh, and and the good news is is the banks participated in that, so we had some up moves. So that's probably a little bit better than initially uh, reported. Right now, had a little bit uh, more of, of some upside towards the, the the close here late in the day. Uh, but long ways to go on these plays anyway. So good news is those are still uh, well positioned to continue paying the nice double digit uh, annual uh, return. So look, that, the coupon is paid monthly. And so that's not, I think if memory serves, that was over 
paid monthly. The energy plays, uh, right now the lower of those is the XOP, that's off 3.8%, minus 3.8%. You still have 26.2% of barrier protection there. So you have a lot of barrier on the downside left, that one's paying uh, in excess of 13% or in the neighborhood of 12, 13% annually. I don't have the prospectus right in front of me right now. Uh, and that's, uh, and that's an annual rate that's paid monthly. All right. These are great total return plays, uh, combined with the uh, downside protection on those. Okay. And then, uh, the gold miner plays, uh, some people got in last month. We've got a new one that comes up, you've got about two weeks left on that. That'll close on, actually you've got 10 days. That'll close on uh, either the 23rd or the 26th of May here. But it's a similar type play of this right now, the juniors, the good news is if you get in now, you, you have uh, a lot more uh, a lot more of a, st of a strong play, a uh, probability of, of writing the whole thing out. Right now, uh, the lowest of those are the juniors. That's off 13%. That's paying uh, double digits as well annually paid coupon on a monthly basis. So those are great things. Hey, look, we've got you covered on the downside, okay? Uh, and, and even in your at-risk money, and, uh, and, and we will, uh, you know, make these uh, suggestions and recommendations and manage your money in accordance with your risk tolerance uh, with an eye towards avoiding storms and, and giving you the best uh, overall returns possible as risk management allows. Remember, our job is to manage risk we do that in a variety of different ways. Returns will follow, okay? So our job is prim uh, primarily, first of all, and paramount, manage the uh, risk. And so we look at an entire portfolio, put these things together for your best interest first. That way uh, you sleep easily at night, you know that your core retirement's protected, and your at-risk money is being managed prudently. So that'll be a wrap for this week. Until next week, stay happy. Studies show that's the key to longevity.